What's going on guys, Barber CVO in the building. We got a new product review on a seat that I got from Airhawk Danny Gray seat. It's a beautiful custom seat. It's got the buttons for you to press uh, on the side that it deflates and inflates, all that stuff. So um, it's gonna be nice. I, uh, I am gonna switch up this seat right here. Um, great seat, by the way. Uh, I got it at Harley Davidson at the ham hammock. It's called the hammock seat from Harley Davidson. Um, great, great, great seat. I've had it for almost 30,000 miles. Um, unbelievable. I'm still going to keep it uh, for my long distance. It all depends how the other um, seat goes. But I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. And uh, like I said, definitely recommend it never had a problem for 30,000 miles it does pick you up at least probably two, uh an inch or two from the ground so if you're short you're gonna be on your tippy toes if you're tall then you should have no 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 problem all right so there's the seat that i'm gonna get uh rid of and uh i'm gonna keep it for a little bit they do they are pretty expensive so we'll see how it goes but right now i'm gonna show you guys the open box of the new airhawk uh, Danny Gray custom seat. All right. All right. So I uh, opened it up already. You guys can check it out. I'm pretty excited. It does come with a backrest, but the backrest right now is in back order um, for like a month or so, like two, two. I'm um, probably three to four weeks. And uh, yeah, so I just have to wait for it. You know what I mean? So this is gonna be the seat right here. Wow, I can see it already. It looks great. Look at that. I'm gonna put it on the floor here so we can actually see how it looks. Wow. That looks nice and sleek. This is the, for the backrest. Check it out. So what's cool about it is that this mechanism right here, you don't have to have the whole thing on the bottom of the, of the seat. You know, you have to buy that separate. This is all built in. So only you, only thing we're waiting for is just the backrest that goes right in that hole. Look at the stitching on here. Wow, it's really soft. Really, really nice. Pretty nice. This is the, on the other side is where I showed you that this seat right here, this is to uh, pump it up and this is to uh, for the pump it up in the back. I think on the side right here, this is where you disinflate it, and this is where you pump it up. So then this thing goes up and down. Let me show you guys the bottom. Nice carpet. Made in November, November 2, 2021. Very nice, very sleek. Looks good. <clears throat> Not as bulky as the other one. So, we're about to try it out and uh, see how it looks. So, these are the seats. Compare side to side. You could definitely tell the one on the left is a lot wider. Definitely a lot wider. Um, like I said, I had it for 30,000 miles. No problem. Still going. But I said I wanted a little more sleeker look, which you could tell the one on the right, the Airhawk, it's not as um, it's bulky. You know what I mean? So, see that? Nice and sleek. Very nice. So what I was telling you is that on the bottom of this, let me show you guys. See on the bottom of this has a hole. So where that's where the backrest goes. So this one doesn't have it. See? This one's already built in. So this thing, it's gonna get removed. So we don't need that. So we're gonna take this out and then the, the seat's gonna go right on there nice and flush. All right, so we took out the, the seat, the bracket that goes there for the backrest. And uh, this is where the, the, the new seat goes right on top of it. Make sure you put these buttons back on there if you have them to save it in case you wanna go back to the other seat. All right, so I installed the seat. Check it out. I pumped it up all the way 
so you guys can see you see the little dent that it has right here that's because on the side here it's already pumped up same thing with here check it out it's pumped up right here it's pumped up right here so watch this when i when i hit the release button So I go down, check it on this one. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So like I said, it goes back to its normal flat uh, surface. And you, when you want to pump it up a little more, you actually go right here and you hear the pump. So you pump, usually about two, three pumps is good enough. And then you let go. All right, so let me show you guys how it looks. Damn, it does look very sleek. Check it out. See that? Handcrafted by Danny Gray Airhawk. So what's gonna happen here, I don't know how this is gonna work. When the backrest comes, it'll probably be just be right there. looks nice and sleek all right we're gonna ride it around the block see how it feels and i'll give you a little soft review all right people we are going on a quick little test ride on the new seat Warming it up. Not going too far. Just want to see how the new seat rolls. See the comfortability. Right off the bat, I actually get more support on this on my lower back. Well, more like really on my hip. Right away. The other one didn't give it that little arch in the back of your butt. This one does give you a little support. And I could just imagine even with the I could just imagine even with the with the backrest how more comfortable it's gonna be. I did give it a couple pumps on the on the seat. I gave it about three pumps. You don't want to get it too much. If you like it on the stiff side, then I guess pump it up a bit more. If you want it real flat, just disinflate it right there. Let's see. So far, so good. I mean, I know the other seat, the it was a lot wider, so it kind of bothered me a little bit. On the inner thighs this one it's you know you're more like hugging the you're hugging the the tank a little more feels good feels real good it's kind of a tricky road but you know, we'll see now I can actually flat foot the the bike now. Wow. These pipes sound awesome. Let me see. Does this seat push you up or push you back? Um I would say I'm a little it's a little kind of the same. I would say push back maybe by like a half an inch more. Um, but not much though, not much. It does feel comfortable. I said with the lower back, the little arch at the back feels great. So I could ride this with or without the backrest. 
I mean the backrest is a little expensive it's about 200 and change just for the backrest remember this seat has the mechanism inside the seat so you could just slip it right on but for long trips I guess I would definitely uh, get the, the backrest feels good Feels real good actually. Not bad. The seat's a little um, a little on the pricey side. I think it was about 700 and change probably. And then you got like another 200 and change for the backrest. You know what I mean? I got it from a west a website called uh, West End Motorsports. Um, I believe they're out of Maryland. I believe I'm not 100% sure, but I'll leave the link down below of the product so you guys could check it out. If they actually have this seat with or without the pump, with the pump, it costs a little more without the pump you're probably looking at 500 maybe high fives maybe 600 something i think it's like 625 or something like that but definitely the the, the one with the pump with the air hawk pump is definitely a little more expensive but it definitely helps i mean i tried the air hawk when we went down to daytona they had a little booth there i tested out sat down in it it feels like butter. So I'm just taking a quick little back back detour here just to get a feel of the bike on the seat, on the bumps and everything, but it, it feels good. Hugs your butt. Not bad. If you have a, a, a seat you want to go on top of it, like the butt buffer, just put it right on top of it and you'll be extra crispy. Feels good. I mean, I haven't gone on a long trip yet. Um, been a little while because of the move you know I moved to Georgia and uh, yeah so you see I'm actually flat footing it um, I'm about five eight and a half I'm actually flat footing it on both sides you see that so we're gonna make a left over here and uh, give it a little small rip shouldn't be ripping it. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. 
fantastic. Review about the seat, again, feels good. Very, very nice, well made. A lot of people uh, do have the seat called Saddleman. Um, I actually sat on it. It was very stiff for my type of view. Um, they have Lucky Dave's. I never tried it, but like the only thing about Lucky Dave was the back of the seat. It was very narrow on those on those seats. Um, if you're a solo rider, yes, I would get it. If I didn't have my wife to ride on it, but she does ride with me a lot, so that didn't work out for me. So I had to get something with a little bit of wideness to the back of the bike. Um, I think it's called two up. So a lot of those, those those seats are very now. I don't even know how the passengers even put their butt on there. If you have a big butt, forget about it. Forget about it. What's up, people? What's up? Checking out through the mirror. So, feels good. I actually feel a little more back, a little bit more back than the hammock. I feel like the hammock, I was really on top of the a tank, pushed up. But this one does feel good. I can't wait to, to go on a, on a long distance ride. Um, I think uh, my friends are coming down from Jersey to Daytona in March. So I will be there uh, for bike week in March. So if you're in the area, just hit me up on uh, Instagram and I will be posting there the, the places where I will be in March uh, at Daytona Bike Week. See, flat foot, flat foot right there. I'm five, eight and a half with the hammock it did it did bring me up a little tiny bit so i was kind of like on my tippy toes but this one feels good for all you guys that want to know how i i put my gopro on here this is the mount that i use uh from uh i got it from amazon this piece right here is from ram you actually get a clamp and you put it right here so this is good I'm gonna have a video on that coming out pretty soon because a lot of people ask me, how the hell do you put your GoPro in there? Well, there you go. Awesome. Seat feels great. It feels very sporty. actually keep this seat right here so tune in to my Instagram if you guys are interested in buying the hammock seat with the the backrest because honestly I'm probably not gonna put it on so I'm probably gonna sell it I'll sell it for half of what it costs from Harley I think at the hammock seat I paid uh, six six twenty five six twenty something um, you know I, I'll let it go for, with the backrest, probably 400 bucks, hammock seat, and the the backrest with the whole mechanism, $400. If you guys are interested, hit me up in the comment below. Look into the hammock seat. I'm probably gonna sell it because I actually really like this seat. It feels comfortable. I feel very, very nice on it. So. The backrest from the hammock seat is from Harley. I did get it at Harley. So, I think $400 is a good price. The seat is in really good condition. So, hit me up in the comment below and uh, let me know if you're interested because I, I think I like this seat. I want to keep this seat. I'm not going to be switching back and forth, back and forth. What sucks is that I gotta wait for the um, the backrest. 
they actually have two types of backrests one small and one large no medium so if you have a if you're a big guy like me you just want to get the large one if you're a small little skinny guy you get the small one you don't have a big back baby I believe that my numbers are in this bike with the dyno tune it's uh oh uh, I think 117 uh, I think horsepower and 132 foot-pounds of torque so all that information just go back to my previous uh, video that I did and the dyno tuning here in Savannah, Georgia. Nice. On my next way out, I'm probably gonna put gas because I ran out of gas. About 17 miles left. Let me tell you something. The gas here in in Georgia, I don't know how it is in Jersey or any place, but damn, it's expensive. I think the Shell is like four dollars and fifty-five cents a gallon. But I usually fill it up at Sam's Club. It's a uh, 309 for premium. So. Alrighty. All right, we arrived back. My butt feels good. There you have it, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you think about this Danny Gray Airhawk seat that I got here. Really, really, really good. Definitely recommendable. We got it's nice great leather with great stitching. All right. Thank you guys. See you on the next video.